I got a job right after the army with my with a band, it was an eight piece band. I got an eight piece band, and everybody's dancing to my music with the band, and they love rumbas. The Florida's all filled with rumbas. And I one day I write this melody. Boom, pa 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 pum pum. Boom, pa 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 pum. And what happened? Everybody loves it. So what's the name of that? I don't know. I haven't. I didn't give it a name. I'm playing in Miami Beach, right? Right. Everybody's doing the rumba. Miami Beach rumba. That's how I got the title, and the rest is history. Was there a connection between Miami Beach rumba and and Autumn Leaves? Was it, or or wasn't it connected to a, a standard? No, no, no. Autumn Leaves was written in Paris by a Russian composer called Les Feuilles Mortes, which means the dead leaves. Roger Williams, who's a friend of mine, a wonderful pianist, recorded it as Autumn Leaves and became a smash hit all over the world as Autumn Leaves, which is Les Feuilles Mortes. So when you did Miami Beach Rumba, uh, it, was a, it was originally an instrumental that you played on the piano. Uh, but you eventually recorded it, and it had lyrics. Um, could you oh, tell us how that came about? the lyrics were written by Albert Gamsey. And Johnny Camacho did the Spanish lyrics. And uh, even to today, all over the world, uh, Woody Allen has it in three movies. Uh, also, uh, uh, the governor, what's his name, uh, of California? Uh, what's his name? Uh, Schwarzenegger. Yeah. He danced to my song in the cafe scene. I think the picture's called Stay Hungry, his first movie made. And Woody Allen has it in the Scoop, Deconstructing Harry, and some other movie, and uh, uh, Miami Vice is in, and of course, Managua, Nicaragua, which is always being played everywhere in the world, it's just, uh, these are standards, uh, is in a picture called uh, The Third Man, which is shown on TV, and uh, Dinah Shaw recorded my song Chante Chante, which became a standard. It's uh, with uh, 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 Jimmy Stewart, it's, uh, Take Her, She's Mine, the movie. So tell us who Albert Gamsa was, and where did you meet him? Uh, Herbert Marx, the uh, publisher of Miami Beach Rumba at that time, uh, signed when he heard my melody of Miami Beach Rumba. He, he loved the uh, music. He says, well, we got to put lyrics to this. Uh, so he assigned Albert Gamsey who wrote Amapola, and he wrote yours. He, he adopted uh, uh, English lyrics to uh, Latin rhythms, as I told you before. He did that with Amapola, did that with yours, and uh, she wanted, he, this was an uh, authentic uh, original Latin melody, which I wrote. It's not an adaptation. And then he wrote the lyrics to it. Now, musically, when I recorded it, I felt the need a hook. Let me explain what a hook is. A hook is a little something that's before the main theme, but people remember it because uh, it, 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 it's an introduction to it. I'll give you an idea. Here's a hook for New York, New York. Bum bum ba da doom, bum bum ba da doom, bum bum ba da doom. That repeats. Bum bum ba da doom, da 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 da. Then it goes to melody. One has a hook to bum ba da dum, ba da dum, ba ba da dum, bum ba da dum. I wanted a hook, and suddenly, the hook was, in a way, part of the success of Miami Beach Rumba. 
because the hook became a famous melody in itself. Boom, 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 boom. The melody originally was down, da 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 but I added the hook, boom, 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 and the hook, as soon as I play that, people know it's the Miami Beach Rumbler. So a hook is important. Um, do you remember? Excuse me. Do you remember the lyrics? Could you could you sing a few of the lyrics for us? I started out to go to Cuba. Soon I was at Miami Beach. Not so very far from Cuba. Oh, what a rumba they teach. So forth. And down you... where the oranges are rounder, down where the winter days are warm, I've caught a 120 pounder. We danced in true Latin form. That's clever. That's clever. A lyric writer. He was one of a kind. And when did you first record the song? Because you went on to record it, right? Who did you record it for? When I first recorded it, I'll tell you what happened. I played at the Crest Room in New York City, my, my first engagement when I got out of the Army. And that Crest Room was my, uh, my tremendous success for me. I had coast-to-coast co -coast radio programs and mutual broadcasting. And uh, I played the song. Everybody loved the song. So when RCA Victor came in to hear me, and they said, uh, we wanted to put you in the Latin department of RCA Victor, I said, fine, I wish I wanted to be American part. He says, well, we'll see what happens. Later on, I became into the American part as we went all over the world. Miami Beach Rumble was the first record I made for RCA Victor, and it was a, an immediate smash. Boom. And I got 25 bucks for that to record it. That's all. And then, thank God I recorded it, because to this day, it's still selling. 